Dear Mother, When you were born, Grandma told me, a hush fell over the delivery room. A great red birthmark covered the left side of your face. No one knew what to say, so you cried to fill the vacuum. I always admired you for that. You cried to fill whatever vacuum you found. I began to manufacture vacuum just to enable you to deploy your talent. The birthmark faded by the time you were six, and it completely gone by the time I was born. But your fascination with the empty and its cure remained. Perhaps I've had an overdose. Perhaps my vacuum is incurable. There are a billion pointless lives in the city. We could have been any one of them, dying slowly, one heartbeat at a time. You're not here anymore. Not here to clean up after me, to remind me to pack my bags, to lovingly cook me tasteless meals. You were rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. I met him. I met the man who did this. I made my own pilgrimage to a small detached flat on the outskirts of town. I am sorry, mother, for I wasn't angry. He knew I hadn't come in search of an apology for reason or retribution, yet he still spiraled in his own guilt-ridden panic, thrown into the confines of insanity by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old, and like us, he had already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. We were all shot down that night like some sick three-for-one deal. Mother, you've left me to solve so many problems and with so few answers. I know only that no matter which valve I turn, the hole in my heart will never twist shut. I've thought about it many times, Mum. I've been living off the signs that you've left me for too long. The indent in the bed where you used to move, but don't move anymore. You would have walked this path before, darkening with your every step. Even the angels we used to believe in are chipped and dirtied. Jesus is left on the keychain hung on the doorknob of death. Sometimes I lie to myself and think that you and your coffin sometimes talk to the others around you until I realize the world would rather see flies in your face than flowers in your eyes. I know what you would have wanted, Mom. For once, I cannot respect your decision. I've waited too long. When these lines touch, it'll be the end of the dark, and the end of me. And finally, I'll be with you.